Miss Phyllis and her supporters have made certain claims to authorship. Now she must defend those claims. I need not tell you that the defendant's claim is totally without precedent that a Negro and a slave, not long removed from a state of barbarism in Africa, could write such verse is, to say the least, beyond all of our experience, if it is true. If, on the other hand, you find the defendant's claim to be false, then you will find a great fraud has been perpetrated upon us, and indeed upon the government of his majesty. If she continues this claim falsely before us today, then she is guilty of perjury, <laughs> which is a crime before man and God. Oh, one more thing to consider. Has this witness, wittingly or unwittingly, become an instrument of propaganda for those who might attempt to overthrow his majesty's government? If this can be shown to be true, then we must consider another crime, the crime of treason. Imagine the consequences to our city and our colony should we in a moment of weakness sign that authenticity of authorship today, only to find that she is indeed the authentic poetess of a revolution. Oh, yes,